guys, it is Tuesday, August 1st, around 7.30 p.m., just right after market open, right? So now, <clears throat> let's look at this, right? Let's. It's interesting, right? What, what was I saying, right? Like I said, we're attempting to do a triple top, right? And now what, what happened? Well, we didn't have the juice, and for that reason, well when we don't have the juice and you're trying to push the top right and we already had two zones that were pretty much a deciding factor of like pretty much saying that this is the top you know like pretty much these two zones right here tell you like yes 4600 is the top right and then when you have this type of move up here well that could really make the price pop right it could really cause that squeeze that everybody talks about right we could have gotten that massive squeeze to, to push above the box here that I have, right? And then we would have been entering short to see a drop in the middle of the box, if not the bottom. Right now, just because we didn't have the juice, well, what's going to happen? Well, the people like that are like kind of like in profit, they're thinking like, why is it not moving? So they're going to start, they're going to get impatient. They're going to start cashing out. So if they can't push the price up, they're just going to size out slowly and then let the market just correct for a bit till they're ready to push it back up i think we're gonna correct to 4500 before we ha we see some kind of a significant maybe attempt to re-break 4600 but right now it's just yeah it, it, it did what i was exp what i was thinking that it was gonna happen but they gapped it down right let's look at it in intraday right so let's let, let's look what happened this is a two minute chart, right? This is the open. Okay. And this is pretty much the whole day and this is the close. So the the yellow part is the open and this is the close, right? So now um when we're looking at this, you can see that yesterday, right, we had that like sideways trading date and it looked like it was gonna die, but it just popped, right? And it stayed at that opening level for the after night session and then Europe brought the uh Europe brought the price down right you can see that pre-market Europe sold out in Japanese session right they're like selling off there they're not like hardcore selling out but they are and then the price goes down into this just neutral zone right it gets goes tries to attempt another leg down and then gets gets scooped up in the morning session today right and then we have this pop that can't out can't break out right and then it starts selling off hard and then it bounces and then just like side side tr uh ends up being side trading there right it's side tra trading there in this zone so but this is like the neutralizing zone right and it's like we don't want to be touching this because we want to be trading when the price decides to take a direction outside of the neutralized zone like for right now we're gapping down and it's like, is this gonna get continue to sell off? Well, I don't know, but it is looking heavy, and no, and and we're getting out of that zone that I thought where there was gonna be more fight in this zone. You see how this, like, I have this extra zone in here. Well, I thought there was gonna be an actual fight in this zone, and you can say that there was a fight like that, right? Like it tried to go, but look, it got sold out hard, and it got saved. It didn't have the juice after this, and then look, right now it's recorrecting to attempt to. Uh, get more buyers to be like, oh, look, I, you know, like, let me buy it, dip buy it. I missed this dip, dip. So, like, let me put it up here. Well, if you miss this dip and you're trying to buy this dip and that dip doesn't happen to be this dip, well, then you're going to be buying the dip that dips even more, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, that's the way I'm looking at it right now. And, uh, yeah, it's playing out the way I said it was going to play out. Now, it wasn't as exciting, right? And usually these things are not because... Let's be honest. People ran out of money, and the short sellers got destroyed, and the and the long buyers they have no clue how to get out. And then the big the big the people that have the most money they know how to do what I'm saying, and they're gonna do that. And the market will correct, but right now it could still be another bear trap, is what I'm saying. But if it's not, then we're touching 4,500, and we're gonna find out tomorrow. And yeah, I'm going to keep this one short as well. Yeah, I hope you guys are uh, 
enjoying the content I'm providing, and uh, I hope it helps you out. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.